guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew circular gown with color okay so if you're interested in learning how to achieve this don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up you can also visit our facebook page td designs our instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration topics on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your circular dress with color now we have our shoulder measurements bust and our gown length you will also discover that with this measurements, we don't have our hip measurements. This is because we don't have our hip measurements and our waist measurements. This is because this form of dress is usually a very free dress. And basically, even your bust measurements, you are going to be adding enough allowance to it so that you can have this free effect. Okay, so our shoulder measurements is 14. We have 14 divided by 2. We have 7. Our bust is 40, 40 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 12. Now, like I said earlier, I said this form of dress, we are going to have it like very free. So you go ahead and add inches to your bust measurement to determine how free you want your bust area to be. However, some people might prefer the bust area to be fit a little bit fitted while you have the full freeness around your waist and your hip. It just depends on what you want to achieve. But either ways, your bust measurements, you will still add enough allowance to it so that you can have it a little bit free around your bust area. So I'll go ahead now and 12 plus 2, I have 14 inches. Now my gown length is 32. I will go ahead and add 2 inches to my gown length. I have 34 inches. So these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this. Don't forget to join us for training. I'm going to put down the details in the description box below. If you have any question in the course of this video, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. Feel free to drop your questions or any topic you want us to make a video on in the comment section. So now, let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to fold your fabric into four. So, I'm making use of this fabric as an example to show you guys how to fold your fabric. So, the first thing you will do now is to fold your fabric into two this way. Once you fold your fabric into two, because what we want to achieve is a flay, a circular shape. So, you take one edge, which is a folded edge, and then you fold it this way. You fold it this way. So, this is what you are going to have. So you are going to have this part being closed and then you have this side being opened. So once it's folded this way, it means that you have it into four. You can see into four folds which will serve as both your front block and your back block. Okay, so this is basically how to fold it. So fold your fabric into two, take this closed edge and then you fold it this way. You can see what we have. So I'll go ahead now and fold this for my major piece. So I've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into four just the way I explained earlier. And you can see that we have this folded edge and we have two pieces here. And why for this part, we have all the parts being closed. So once you are done with that, the next thing you are basically going to do is that you are going to go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurement. So in order for you to achieve that, kindly place your tape measure where you are going to have your tape, your shoulder measurement. So our uh, shoulder measurement is 7 inches. Of course, you can't place it here because you won't have 7 inches at this point. So you come down to where you can have your shoulder measurement which is somewhere around here so i'll go ahead and mark that this simply means that my measurement is starting from this point okay so i'm basically just painting it so that it can show clearly on this fabric so it means that our measurement is starting from here right so you go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurement which is seven inches 
So I've marked my shoulder measurements, which is seven inches. Now I will go ahead and mark my arm O, which is eight inches. So this is my arm O. Now I will mark my arm O to bust eight inches, bust to hip nine inches. So this is our hip line, waistline, and our bust line. So what we are going to do now is we'll go ahead now and connect our shoulder measurement to our bust measurement to give us our arm O. I'm going to be using my arm O curve now. I'll just place it this way and get my arm O. So if you are having difficulty in getting the accurate arm O, I have a video on that and I'm going to link it in the description box below. So we've gone ahead now to connect our arm O. The next thing we are going to do now, we've gone ahead now to connect our arm O. So the next thing we are going to do now is to mark our neckline. Now, because we want to fix in color, it is also necessary for you to make sure that you have like a very good arm O, a very good neckline rather. So for the wideness of my neckline, I'm going to make use of three inches for the wideness of my neckline. I'm making use of three inches. Three inches. Now, for the back block, I'm going to make use of one inch for my back block. Okay, I think it's clear. So you can see the one inch for the back block. And for the front block, deepness of the front block, I'm going to make use of three and a half inches. So you're just basically connecting your neckline. Three and a half. So this is the front neckline and this is the back neckline. You can see that. So now on our arm O now, we'll go ahead and take our bust measurements, which we have 14 inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead now and connect this my bust measurement. I'm going to connect this my bust measurement to my gown length now you can decide that you want both your bust your waist and your hip to be free if you want a free circular dress that is which includes the freeness around the bust the waist and the hip all you have to do is just to connect it this way that is you're not marking your exact bust measurement okay and you're not marking your exact measurement so you just start from you can add like extra four or five inches to your bust measurement so that you can have the freeness around your bust and then you just extend it this way so you're going to have like a very free gown but if you want the bust to be a little bit fitted and you just want the freeness around your waist and just your hip alone then you also go ahead and mark your bust measurements and connect this okay and connect this this way So you can see the slant line. So with this, your bust is going to be a little bit fitted, okay? So this is what we have now. It's basically very easy. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our gown length. Now, because this is where we started our measurement from, it simply means that this is exactly where you are going to take your gown measurement from. So now we'll just go ahead now and place our tape measure this way. So we've placed our tape measure from where we started our measurement from to the gown length. So we'll go ahead now and mark it so that we can have our gown length. You also move your tape measure this way. Then you also go ahead and connect it together. So you're going to have like a curved shape for your gown length. Let me just paint it so that you guys can see it clearly. Okay, so I hope you can see it. This is the line for our gown length. So this is actually very easy. And don't forget that the neckline, we are going to have like key O and we are also going to fix in our collar. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. And after cutting this out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I've gone ahead now to cut it out. 
So this is the front block because what we want to achieve is the key or neckline. So you go ahead and mark how many inches you want for your key o. So I have I want about four inches for my key o neckline. Four inches. So what key o neckline simply means is just opening it up this way. Just opening it up this way. That's what we call keyhole neckline. So it's basically easy. So by the time you open it up, this is what you will have for the front block. You can see how beautiful it is, guys. So this is what we have. This is what we call keyhole neckline. So this is what we have for the front block. And block, we just have like a basic round curve. So this is actually very easy to achieve the sewing part and everything it is so easy to achieve if you gained a lot from this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so the sewing part of this tutorial and i'm going to show you guys how to fix in your color also so just stay tuned what you are going to do now is go ahead and place the two shoulders together Place the two shoulders together and then you stitch the shoulders together. Stitch the shoulders together. So after doing that now, I'll show you guys what we have. All you have to do is just to aim the front part where you have your key hole. That is the front part which you opened up. You just go ahead and aim only that part. So once you've aimed it now, you've gone ahead also to join the shoulders together. So the next thing you are going to do now is to take your tape measure and measure the neckline all the way round. So you measure your neckline. So you are measuring it round, like from the front to the back to the other front. Make sure you do this as many times as possible so that you can have like an accurate number. So I have about 27 inches, 27 inches for the round neckline. Note that I did not measure this key o part. I only started from one part of the key o all the way around and it's end at the second part of the key o. So this is what we are going to have for this part. So we have 27 inches. So we'll go ahead now and fold it into two. Go ahead and fold it into two and determine how many inches you want for the color. So this color is usually not a big form of color. So I'll go ahead now and fold this into two. Okay. So for the length of this, what we have for the neckline, we have 27 inches. We have 27 inches for the neckline, but we are going to add about 3 inches to it. So I'm going to have 30 inches. So I'll have 30 inches. I'll go ahead now and cut it out. I'll have 30 inches. And for the wideness, I'm going to have 3 inches. For the wideness, I'm going to have 3 inches. So folded into 2 this way, I'm going to have one and half one and a half and then i'll just add about half inch for my sewing allowance so i'm going to have two inches which is four inches on a single fold this way we'll have four on a single fold this way if you are opening up the fabric this way we're going to have four five four inches but if you fold this into two we are going to have two inches so we have two four inches by 30 inches so this is what we have. this is what we have i will advise that when you want to um Put in your collar when you're cutting your collar, you go ahead and iron your stay to it. Okay, let me show you guys what it looks like. So I've gone ahead now to iron my stay and iron my stay, and I made use of gum stay. Okay, gum stay. So you also discovered that I folded this part. And then I pressed it down. So it just makes it easy for you to. You can see that I folded this part and then I pressed it down. So it just makes it easy for you to be able to fix in your collar. Because once you stitch this part on the dress, this part is folded already. So you just press your, you just stitch this part. You don't have to be folding it. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. So the first thing you are going to do now is to 
close this part which is the edge of your collar and then close this part and then you stitch it which is the edge of your collar so you go ahead and stitch both edges of your collar parts now and then you've ironed your gum stay right now take this piece which is your front block where we are starting from where we have the first keyhole neckline so you take it this way and then you stitch it all the way round you can see you stitch it all the way round now because this is like the easiest way to fix in your collar because you've pressed this part and you've ironed it down by the time you turn this up this way can you see you can you see so this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have so you can see that your color is coming out already can you see it this is what you are going to have so if you've learned a lot from this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe you can see what our color looks like so let me just come over and explain it again because fixing the color is like the major difficulty you might want to um you might want to encounter in dealing with this style so we measured our round neckline and then we cut out a piece of fabric we cut out piece of fabric our neckline was 27 inches we added 3 inches to it to give us 30 inches now we we ironed our gum stay to it and we also folded this part while we are ironing so that it can make it very easy to fix in your collar all you have to do now is take this open part place it on your round neck and then you stitch it all the way round you stitch it all the way round this way so by the time you place this part here to stitch it again because here is folded it just makes it very easy for you to do your stitching so by the time you turn the front this is what you are going to have you can see very easy and very simple to achieve and for the back block this is what you are going to have laid properly because you've ironed this part also so i'll go ahead now and stitch this for so guys after that the next thing you are going to do now is just to go ahead and stitch the sides together and m your arm o so once you are done this is what you are going to have you can see a circular gown with a collar so thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye